Hello everyone, Janet here with Radiant Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while. And if you're looking to buy or sell a property, definitely reach out to me. Today, I just wanted to discuss buying a home virtually with you. I know quite a few of my clients nowadays, this is how they do it. Some of them do fly out and see their home before moving in. Some of them see it when they pull up with the moving truck for the first time. That is how we bought our house when we moved here seven years ago. And looking back on that, there were a few things that I wished our realtor had done or shown us that she had not. So I try to do my very best on virtual tours with clients and keep that in mind. So today I thought it would be fun, really. it's This is really raw. I'm just going to let you in on one of the virtual tours that I did for my clients. Um, so basically with a virtual tour, your agent, if you if you are gonna be buying a home this way, you should definitely ask your agent if they have experience with virtual tours and kind of to walk you through that process. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different. I use an app called Marco Polo. With the Marco Polo, it's really nice. Um, you could FaceTime or Zoom, and I've done that a couple times, but if the internet's spotty, there's always a delay. It's kind of complicated if you're not available at the same time, that doesn't work. With Marco Polo, it's kind of like a text message, but it's video and it's recorded. So I can take clients through at any time. They can rewatch them later when they're available. They can watch them over and over again if they went through and they're like, wait, what, did, what was that closet? Was that a walk-in closet or not? They can go back through and watch the video again. So when I'm using Marco Polo in general, I try to show my clients the a 360 degree view around the house. I try to show them the drive up to the house so they can kind of see the surrounding neighborhood. Within the house, your agent should be showing you things that might need some work. Um, if they're not, if they're showing you a house and they're not pointing anything out to you, you need a new agent. <laughs> to buy virtually, or you need to actually just have a conversation with them probably, and just say, hey, I really need you to be my boots on the ground and showing me everything in this house. And you know what, we're agents, we're not gonna catch everything every time, that's what the inspector is for, but at least going in, you should have a pretty good idea. So let's just watch this Marco Polo tour. It's very raw, it's not edited, it's just here it is, this is what it is, and let me know your thoughts in the end. All right, Jerry and Mary, so I am heading to the property now. You'll probably hear the directions in the background, but I said I would give you some of the surroundings. So I just turned off Highway 2. At the stop sign, turn right onto Conrad Drive. Kind of near that snappy sports center. I don't know if you were ever kind of over that direction. It sounded like you were, according to Mary. So you do have this um, trailer home park here. That's Shady Lane, and then you turn on to in three quarters of a mile. The destination's on the left, 758 Conrad Drive. had a big farmhouse over on the right side and then you have this so this is an interesting section if you've been over here which it sounds like you have it's an older section of town um, so the lot sizes are much bigger you have some kind of farm properties um, not a lot of covenants or anything so it's not super regulated as far as or didn't used to be I don't think it is even now as far as what goes on over here There is a right. bridge over the river. So that makes sense. Here's the entry to the property. And I guess we're gonna go this way. It does not look right. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> so they have a bunch of vehicles on this property, which you saw in the photos too, um, which obviously would be cleared out. Um, or we would specify that they be cleared out with the property purchase. 
So there's the road over there, but it is pretty well enclosed with nice hedge bushes all around. And it is fenced here between you and your neighbor. That's just a big pole barn over there. Looks like they have a boat in there and some wood storage going on. There's a little path over to the neighbor's house. So garage situation, great garage space, which is nice here in Montana. All right, and then when we're done, I will take you out the other direction, which takes you, oh, here, let me flip you around. I'll take you out the other direction. Um, we'll keep going on Conrad, and that takes you into kind of downtown Kalispell, um, near Woodland Park and the water park and the Conrad Mansion and all that stuff, kind of east side of Kalispell. So, okay, I'm gonna turn this off, get the key, and we'll go inside. Okay, so you do get some road noise from Conrad, which is right here. Um, it's pretty quiet right now. I did hear some while I was getting the key out. I love the old brick farmhouse type look, and then you've got the addition. So, and then there's also more yard that way. We'll take a look at that afterwards. Nice big willow tree there. Okay, so you have steps from the garage up to the home, and these are in decent shape. Could use another coat of paint here. But everything seems like, well, pretty sturdy, I guess. Actually, that moved more than I expected. Huh. It's not really attached to the uh, thing right down here, I guess. So maybe that's why it moves more. Maybe it should be probably attached to that, I would say. Okay. Inside this door is interesting. So it is just kind of like a steel door, I think but then they put this old look wood on it. So fascinating. All right, so in we come. You have a mudroom type area right here and it's all wood. And then there is a door over here, which is in slight disrepair. <laughs> Looks like it's had some dog action. Oh, and this just goes out to the deck area, which is very beautiful. But yeah, you could use a new door. But Mary, you already saw these pictures and you already know <laughs> kind of what it needs. Okay, and also it doesn't line up to lock. Hold on, I'm going to set you down a second. I'm going to turn this off and lock that and then we'll keep going. Okay, so coming inside, it is like a Berber carpet that definitely needs pulled up. It's just kind of piling as well. <laughs> Look, they like nailed down the rugs on it. Interesting. And it's weird too, because it's different levels. I feel like slightly, do you see that little bump right there? So that's interesting. So yeah, definitely need to pull that up. This is a nice big room though. Um, you can see they've got quite a bit of furniture in here and open space. I like the wooden beam, that's nice. Uh, ceilings are probably nine foot. I'm guessing nine foot. I can't touch them with my hand up. I'm like six foot plus my arm plus a little more. Don't quote me on that, I'm really bad at that. Okay, so yeah, like the window situation. You really need new windows throughout. <laughs> that's not right at all. So yeah, original windows going on here. And actually that will help if you get new windows. I mean, pretty views out here to the side yard. I mean, it, it, well, there's a camper there now, but that would be moved. All right. And lots of wood. So, Here's the good and the bad. <laughs> lots of window light, good. The cost replaced the lots of windows, bad. But once you do, then obviously the whole home is gonna be much more efficient. Plus, um, as far as the noise outside goes, you won't really hear that. Okay, so I don't really know what this room is. 
Just another kind of area for living space. We have a bathroom right here. Um, another interesting door. They like the wood doors, kind of fun, adds character. Uh, the flooring in here is, uh, I don't feel like those are bricks. Like a tile brick look, I guess, maybe. And then of course you have the old vanity, single sink, but a good size vanity there, as you can tell. And then the toilet, I feel like, okay, I feel like this, floor slants. I feel like <laughs> the flooring throughout is not even. I think if you put, it's probably going to be hard to see on this video, but I feel like if you put a marble there, it's going to roll this way all the way down. Um, so I don't know what that would entail. And the shower is nice and tiled all the way, top to bottom. bench and all. Um, let's see though. Oh, could use a new shower head. That's simple enough. Some new fixtures. Hardware would be good. Okay, and also the light in here. This light is not very bright and this light switch doesn't seem to operate these lights. So I don't know what's going on with that. All right, and what do we have over here? Oh, okay. This is laundry. So you might want to add some doors to this area. Nice size area though. And there is a light in here. It appears. Okay, I don't know how to find the switch. Oh, no, not there. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the nice thing about this home is, and I don't know what you what your taste is, Mary and Jerry, or what you would save, but like the brick exterior that was probably of the original house, um, and kind of some of the wood items definitely add character. Uh, there is like a crack here going on in the ceiling. I'm not sure what from. Oh, and like over here, looks like some water damage going on. All right, so in here we have some tiles, which I don't know if they're original or not. They're pretty, um, they look like it, which is kind of fun. Um, and this door here to the pantry area, which is a good size. And again, you have that kind of brick wall. And again, you have some peeling of the ceiling going on. Refrigerator over here. Kind of in that setback. That's a good size bump out, so good size fridge. Um, the dishwasher's just kind of hanging out in the middle. And I don't know, honestly, it seems like you could put it where that thing is. That seems like it would be a better fit to me, but we'll figure that out. Kind of original cabinets, probably. Definitely some peeling of the textured, I don't know if that's wallpaper or what going on there. I don't think so. Maybe, because it has that border. Interesting. Okay. So they have kind of the old look lights, which is fun. Okay. In here, the dining room, you have wood floors. And I do believe these are real wood floors going on here. And this is a good size room. So they have the corner built in and then that big 
round table, a piano, kind of a couple hutches, that sort of thing going on. And then I wonder what this door is for. Oh, that goes down to a basement. So we'll investigate that a little bit more in a bit. And even like that archway has some character to it with the tiles and the shape of it. Okay, so it looks like our first bedroom is right here off the dining room. So it's not huge, but this is a queen size bed. Has room for a side table on either side, a small one. And the ceilings in here are super tall. Goodness, maybe like 12 feet. <laughs> and lots of built-ins over here. So good closet space. And then you have these cupboards on either side with additional closet space as well. Drawers below and then bonus cabinets above for items you don't use that often. So light switches, this one's like kind of just bumping out from the wall, which is fine, but not really what you see anymore nowadays. Same with this one here. Let's see how they did that. And the ceiling in here is kind of tiled. And then you've got the wooden beams. All right, so through the next archway, we have another living space. The original living room. Great size. As you can see, you've got the wood burning stove here as well. There was one in that other section also. But again, you do have cracking. So there's cracking there, all over here. And I don't know, I mean, that could just be like, that one looks bigger. That crack over there, can you see that? Um, yeah, so you would really need an inspector in here to kind of tell you how deep those cracks are going and how difficult they would be to repair beautiful wooden staircase here. Oh, in here it's carpet. So older carpet. So let's head upstairs. Stained glass window. Um, the staircase could use some refinishing. Do you see? Some wear and tear. Oh wow. Look, you have a big area here at the top of the stairs where you can put whatever you want. They chose to put a swan window light, but that window also needs replaced by the nice old moldings. All right, up here, another bedroom. Oh, this is a nice size bedroom. So we have that. Um, I think that's a king size bed. Pretty sure. So you've got the side tables on both sides, plus the dresser, plus another dresser space. Got the wooden beams, some wood floors here. I think those are real wood. Yeah, pretty sure they are. And closet, which is actually a good size, but um, they've got it pretty jammed full. Stuff. You can hear that road noise. Can you hear that? Because a truck just went by out there. Big truck. You can't see the river from here. Um, it's kind of blurry, I guess. Anyway, I'll take you out there when we're done. The old original doors, doorknobs. Definitely could use some TLC. Okay, we're back to that carpet that was down below, which you probably just want to replace. And then we've got this bathroom, wooden floors. Could definitely use, uh, what's that called? 
whatever that piece of flooring is that goes between the two types. Old clawfoot tub. I love the brick wall. Got the toilet. We've got a whole vanity up here. And then the built-ins. There's some here. Oh, that actually goes, okay, that actually goes to a whole, uh, let me move this, type of attic storage situation. Oh, well. Okay, it's hot in there. But you could finish a whole nother area or just have storage. Fascinating. Okay. And then all of these built-ins as well. No secret passageways here. <laughs> Just the drawers and cubbies. So yeah, good sized bathroom. And then another bedroom here. And this is a different carpet altogether, but should also be replaced. Got stains in there. And they do have pets here. It doesn't smell horribly like pets, but I see pet items and once in a while I'll get a whiff of dog or something. Okay, this closet, there is a closet, but I don't know how to get into it. So, some size closet there. You see the window air conditioner, which does not look very effective since it's open on both sides. So no AC here. And again, windows that need to be replaced. This one is all cracked. Ah, but you have the tin roof. Ooh, and skylights, which is great because the tin roof, roofs are expensive and that should be good for many, many, many years. So with all these other items I'm mentioning, at least that's not one that needs to be fixed. And the wood on the walls here, the large original molding. And there is attic access up that way. So you've got the two bedrooms and the bathroom up here. Now let's head down, back down the beautiful staircase. Front door also has that stained glass. And let's just go out and take a look out here because this also leads to, okay, maybe. Screen door. So there's a cute little deck patio area here. She strung the lights, got the beautiful brick, the shutters, kind of like a little oasis. And very private. But you can hear the road noise, as you heard as I came out. And even like coming in here. So there's just a bunch of little things that just need some maintenance. Okay. All right, so back through our front living room area, which they even have room for their exercise equipment. Our third bedroom, the dining room. Oh, we gotta go down the stairs here, okay. So obviously this is not a place you will go often, but good for storage and such. Very old walls, okay, creepy sounding door. <laughs> That's always fun. Ooh, okay. So you got like the original rock work wall down here, extra refrigerators. Um, I could stand down here, so you're about six foot. There are some cobwebs to contend with as an all basement, but good storage space down here, which is nice. Okay. 
Okay. So lots of doors though, which is interesting. Okay. Water heater. More storage area here. And then there's another door over here, which seems to go to outside. Yes, it does. So this is weird because I feel like all the critters are just going to come in. Okay, first plan of action is to seal this off because this is a no-go for me. I cannot be living in a place with the snakes coming in. That's just not going to work for Janet. Okay. But that should be easy enough to fix. And then there's one more door over here. Okay. Weird. All right, it is the man cave. <laughs> Fascinating. All right, our work here is done. Let's head back up and outside and see what the property looks like. kitchen and then into the addition which again there's your other wood burning stove there So out in the backyard, lots of beautiful, mature shrubs, flowers, trees. So those are your neighbors over there. Back side of the garage. Nice storage area, definitely could use some maintenance here on the woodwork leading up to, if you care about that. Just kind of open storage. And then like a dog run area here. This is kind of the back side of the house. Big willow tree. Neighbors are playing some music. They're jamming. All right, so as we walk the property, it goes all the way back to this corner, looks like, by the fences. Yep, neighbors are hanging outside, enjoying the beautiful day. Okay, so you can see kind of the fence line there. Have this path. So nice garden area here if you're into gardening. I can't seem to grow anything, so that would not be for me. And then the manicured portion of the lawn, which is a great size. Let's head up to this area so you can take a look at the back deck. 
Nice big gate on that. So great space here. They have a little water pond, lots of sitting area, flowers. And this portion is painted, so it will need maintained now and then, but it looks pretty freshly painted right now. Head over to this little barn. <laughs> All the shingles are falling off of it. Little piece of history. So honestly, I don't know what you would do with this, but we'll take a look anyway. Oh, it's open over on that side. So yeah, it doesn't really seem like they use it for all that much either. But it is open on that side if you wanted to, but pretty much falling apart. So it might be a tear down. Um, possibly could use some of the wood from it or sell some of the wood from it. I don't know, kind of needs treated. Look at those shingles. Those are classic. Okay, let's go see the river. There's the side of the house. Fruit tree here. Looks like apples. So you have this little deck out by the river. Definitely could use a little maintenance as well. Kind of the theme of our tour today. I guess that's what you get with a historic home. <laughs> See some people fishing down there, that direction. So it looks like they had a little path down right here. Now you need to move that big log, put some steps down, and you could definitely, seems like you could kayak or paddleboard or fish. Big tree here, looks like they have a light set up so you could be out here at night. So that pretty much concludes our tour. Let me know your thoughts. Definitely a lot of positives, definitely some negatives. <laughs> Depends on uh, what is most important to you here. Um, great lot size, great character to the home. We've got the river frontage, definitely an older home in need of some TLC and maybe some, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say structural repair, but definitely some areas to look into for that. Um, so beautiful deck space and on front and back, mature landscaping, kind of a bummer to have some of the road noise. Um, I imagine that would die down at night, but still it's a road, so it's there. All right, I'm gonna drive you out and we'll drive the other direction on Conrad and go from there. Oh, I forgot to show you the garage space. So here is the open air garage space, lots of storage here, which is nice. And then we've got, let's go in here. Oh, okay, it looks like they're using it more for shop and storage right now. Interesting flooring in here. Big concrete squares. And there is a wood burning stove in here as well. So you could probably use that as a shop and have it heated in winter. Electricity. 
Um, the question is, do the garage doors work? Also something an inspector would tell you. I mean, the garage door opener seems to be fairly updated. Uh, over here, I don't even know if this one has an opener on this side. Doesn't look like it. So just be the two-door one over there. Uh, Drive-in is gravel. And I kind of made a roundabout situation. Oh, and then there is this additional little rental type thing I forgot about. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Well, I could get more information on that for you, but it's just kind of like a side tiny building off the garage. And this is shingled, so you've got some moss growing up there. That would need to come down as well. So like I said, I'm gonna drive you out. So that's the direction where we came in. We're gonna head over the bridge, kind of toward downtown Kalispell. So here is the corner gas station. Right across the way is Woodland Park. Right down there is the spot, which has great donuts. <laughs> you have kind of a little Pickett's antique store, insurance, dentist. So this is Woodland Park. They do have an ice skating rink there, pond, that sort of thing. The Woodland Montessori School is on the left. And then right up here is kind of where you enter into downtown Kalispell. So Conrad Mansion is just down that way, a block or two. And then straight ahead um, would be Main Street up here. Uh, you see that stoplight there, that's first, and then the stoplight after that is Main with um, all your shopping, dining, that sort of thing. So let me know your thoughts and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them below for me. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. You can call me, text me, email me. I love to hear from you. Have an awesome week and I'll see you next time.